Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, November 17th, and here are the week's top stories. Maine Governor Janet Mills issued an executive order last week establishing an independent commission to investigate the Lewiston mass shooting, killed 18 people on October 25th. The commission will be made up of seven people. Daniel Wathan, former Chief Justice of the Maine Supreme Court, will lead the group. Other members include a former U.S. attorney, assistant attorneys, and two judges. The commission's task is to provide a comprehensive assessment of the shooting, including information on any prior knowledge or warnings about the mental well-being of the shooter. In the wake of the shooting, attention is focused on multiple warnings that law enforcement officials received about the shooter's unstable mental condition and possession of firearms. Portland plans to open a new shelter for homeless asylum seekers later this month. The shelter will have nearly 180 beds. The project has been in the works for months, supported by a $4.5 million grant from state government. The shelter will run cooperatively by the city and the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition. Speaking at a council meeting Monday night, city manager Danielle West said the new shelter will help free up as many as 120 beds at the city's existing homeless shelter. At the same time, Portland officials are asking state and federal officials for $700,000 per year to support the city's asylum seeker resettlement program. The federal government will process nearly double the number of temporary work visas next year, about 130,000, to help seasonal businesses deal with employee shortages. Maine's tourism industry relies heavily on the H-2B visa program to support seasonal business. Representatives from a group that advocates for the ski industry in Maine said last season was the second busiest ever in the state, and that additional H-2B visas could help support another robust season. U.S. Senators Angus King and Susan Collins of Maine are calling on the federal government to release more data on the H-2B program, and to fix problems, including workers arriving late due to delays in processing their applications. Many agricultural workers come to Maine each year for the broccoli, apple, and potato harvests through a similar program known as H-2A. Two Portland-based organizations are planning to convert a former homeless shelter into a new housing development. The site of the former Oxford Street shelter would be converted into 30 to 50 units following a model called Housing First, It offers shelter and support services to people experiencing homelessness. The developer of Vesta Housing and nonprofit group Preble Street have already partnered on three similar projects, which make up a total of 85 units. Avesta plans to begin construction in 2025 if it can secure funding and municipal approval. This has been Maine Public News Connect. We'll see you next time. Thank you to our excellent community partners for supporting and contributing to this program. Maine Public News Connect has been made possible by individual supporters and foundations from across Maine, as well as Ku and Patricia Ewan, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, Maine Housing, and IDEX. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a deal. Junto. Seaport Credit Union. Together. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. If you're struggling financially due to COVID-19, the Maine Homeowner Assistance Fund can provide the support you need. Free federal relief for past or present home costs. Apply today and keep your family safe and your home secure. You can compare plans and get financial help to lower your cost at CoverMe.gov, a resource for finding health insurance that fits at a price that works. 